The title is in reference, we were, we were thinking a lot about Forrest Bess, just his lexicon of symbols and signs and cuts. But then we were also thinking, how do we like pull this language into our own experience? I mean, a lot of our work has to do with what it is to live a life and the domestic, so like cuts in the day felt like a way to speak to that. In this container is the video Blood and Water for FCB. It was, I think, initially like our desire to communicate with Bess and so thinking about like water being this medium of like things flow through it, it refuses, you know, stasis. And what we came up with was bodies and water yeah, and, and there's like a blood cloud. There's a blood cloud. I mean, I always like to look at the interior of the body because it's common ground. You know, and women bleed in childbirth and every month. In, in blood too, like I feel like it's like there's like a gendered kind of like, you know, understanding of like who gets to use blood. How is that seen as like unfemale to have blood show, you know, like if you're bleeding, it's like seen as shameful to like have that be visible. Um, but even in fighting, you know, like that, that's like kind of gendered differently. The soundtrack inside, there's um, a list of women's names by Monique Wittig from the book Les Guerrières. Les Guerrières. It's like female warriors, right? Like who, it's like a proto, you know, feminist novel from 1969. Sheila read those names and we also included other people that we love and, and honor in our life. Phydra, Adoxia, Olive, Hannah, Io, Modesta, Taylor. We're also a foster family um, to a little girl whose name is Sky. So that too, how do we represent that? How do we speak to it? And that has had a particular challenge because we can't show her image. So um, all of these are Polaroids that were taken, you know, of our family. She's in each of them somewhere. There's like know? 170 of them. It's like, how do I make work about something I'm not allowed to make an image of? I would say like Bess's quest the way he has, he went on a quest into the unknown territory. I don't know, Helma Offklint is another artist that I'm, I want to find magic and, and magic that isn't playing, you know, and I'm not talking about putting a spell on you. I'm talking about like tapping into other layers of reality, you know, to learn and, and, and find other ways of being in the world because capitalism is just so disgusting. Knowing that it was Forrest Bess who was the, you know, in the other room is like, like he's, he is like a queer hero. And absolutely, like I, I love like what Danny was saying about like serious magic. I think that often like, you know, the artist is like, maybe this goes back to again, like this kind of like capitalist mythology of like the single solitary thing that like rises up within all their genius. And like, yet actually like we're all like ultimately like tied to everybody else and everything else. And so like, that's what collaboration feels like. It's like admitting that like, you know, that we can do this together. And also like responding to Forrest Bess is just like, how do you remember that we're always connected to all these other people? Nobody's alone, nobody's single, you know? So that was, I think that's part of like wanting to do that with Bess as well.